so welcome back everyone it is monday the 18th of june and uh it has been a beautiful beautiful weekend it's a beautiful week this week here in new york and we've seen you know now what it's like to be over the weekend and also you know going on to a friday you know like i said i was you know uh, i wasn't really uh aware of what was going on on friday uh but i just got the you know just followed up with Josh. He was telling me a little bit about what moved on. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's incredible that some of the things that we're doing is just doing fabulous. There's a lot of good stocks that made some big moves. Um, and just remember everyone, you know, you got phase one that is starting tomorrow. Uh, and also you got Traders Talk. We got a lot of new members that are also starting too. So you guys have to understand that what we do here at Cybertrain University, you know, there's two types of trading. There is day trading, and there is swing trading. Now we've been doing, you know, phenomenal on both different um, spectrums of trading, but they are totally two different animals. And you know, one of the big ones I do want to mention, which we've been, um, you know, we haven't really talked a lot about it, but the goose, you know, I I actually kind of messed up on that trade because I had the trade. And I kind of moved into different stocks because, you know, the problem with date with swing trading is that you allocate a certain amount of buying power for that and you allocate a certain amount for, for day trading. And Goose, um, I know some of you have been holding them for a while. I told you this back in Christmas. There are more people here wearing a Goose jacket than, you know, wearing Nor uh, North Face jacket. And, you know, and it's not a cheap jacket. It's $1,000. Well, sure enough, you could see everyone did really well on that news announcements on Friday. Stock gapped up pretty nice. And let me tell you, I still think it's a very strong stock. But I, I, I think eventually, you know, that, that whole goose thing, listen, it's going to go up, you know, but I, I personally, I'm telling you, it's going to get played out. It's going to be played out. It's almost like Under Armour and all that. I mean, the stock's going to do great, but eventually it's going to be a nice short. But as of right now, enjoy, enjoy the wave. Our big, big winner we want to talk about is the IQ. Uh, when you look at that chart, guys, I mean, it was just a phenomenal, phenomenal run. IQ is just doing great. Um, Hoya is another one that we've been watching, doing phenomenal. Same stock, same, not the same industry, but it's a Chinese stock, gaming stock. Both of those on your swing trades were absolute killers. You guys did great on those. Um, and like I told you, I'm still I'm still a holder, you know, even though the stock is down. Listen, I, I'll be honest with you, I told you this before that I was anticipating IQ to be at around the $45 price range by the end of the year. I didn't I don't like these stocks go up in this fast because they get more advertisement, they go up too fast, and they're gonna come back down. So but I'm a long term hurt. I was expecting to get to 45 by the end of the year. Looks like I got there not not I'm, I'm about six months short. <laughs> But anyway, that one worked out pretty well. A couple other ones um, that did pretty well is the PV um, TL. Josh told me you guys did really well on that one. Uh, you could see typical two-hour trader. That one went from 16 up to 30. Not only has it been a good day trade, but a great swing trade. That one did pretty well for us. And the DKX, another nice little move there for some of you. Is that right? DKX. Uh, I think Josh uh, gave me the wrong spelling on that one. But it was another one that he uh, actually found. It's not coming up. All right, maybe some of you guys know. But anyway, overall, the same stocks that we've been watching as uh, day trades, you could see how a day trade becomes a swing trade. All right? So that one, there you go. Thanks very much, uh, Kevin. DBX, there you go. Nice little move right there. 36 right out of the gate. Boom, 39. Typical 30-minute run. What more do you ask for? So anyway, nice little day on Friday. And you could see overall on the Fridays, uh, Google just bought $55 million of JD, another Chinese media company. Yeah, no, I saw that um, for 55, 55 million. And, and I'm telling you, you're going to see a lot more of this. I, I, I'll be honest, I'm not making any, you know, um, I'm going to make, you know, I'm not going to you know, make any uh, type of uh, predictions here, you know, or saying I know anything, but... I, I'll be honest with you. I can see IQ being a merger, you know, uh, being a uh, be a hostile takeover from Netflix. You know, if Netflix feels threatened, if they got a lot of cash, what do they have to lose, right? So um, I just found out also over the weekend 
um, you know, because I was, I was, you know, a lot of people from my uh, my neighborhood came to visit me regarding my mom, and uh, you know, they also follow me also, and they're saying, Fausto, by the way, that IQ trade, I just want you to know, I know it's not a place to talk about it right now, but he said they have the number one show in China. They got one point five billion viewers that watch this one Chinese show. He goes, you know how much money they make on advertising on that? So really looking forward to seeing what's happening in the earnings announcements when they show up on July 27th. So it's pretty incredible. Anyway, it's just like J. Do, another Chinese company being bought out. Yeah, I, I, I could see it happening. Listen, a lot of these guys have a lot of cash. Who knows? Apple might, you know, sitting on billions, you know, billions, billions of dollars. You never know. So they got to spend it, right? So anyway, let's go look on what's going on for today because there are a couple of good little stocks that are moving. I know some of you guys capitalized in already. PTCT is a pretty nice, interesting stock. Um, some of you saw a little bit earlier. I told you kind of stay away from it because it was a little on the expensive side. Had a big spread. Um, you had to be a level four trader. So there's one right there. The RCII, that one's doing pretty good. That was halted. I know that Dan uh, uh, Dana brought that one up. Good for him. That was a nice little call out. Um, had a nice little move, took a quick little profit on that one. VTSM is another one I found this morning that's making a nice move, up about 14%, 700,000 shares trading, breaking 52 week highs, nice little push, but she backed off right there. She's got nice support levels right around the 725, so she's kind of hovering there. Not really has a real push going into the close right now, so we're gonna have to wait and see how everyone reacts to that when the market opens up. One that's making a nice little push also, up to up 16%, QT, uh, NT, a lot nicer than the other ones. There you go, Trend is your friend. This is a scalping stock, it is a, well no, no it's not, I'm sorry, it's not. It's got a big spread though, but just be very careful with that one. A couple other ones that are getting hammered. The CBIO getting crushed, I don't know if she's on your short list, but there's definitely room for support levels. Uh, if it breaks that support level, which is testing right here, you know, you can see a stock taking a little bit of a dive. You already got a big buyer out there. Keep an eye on those iceberg orders. And the VRX, we did great with that stock. That stock has been on fire lately. Uh, great swing trade from 14 to 26. Some people still hoping it's gonna go back to the 200 price range, but it's taking a little bit of a hit today. Listen, there's always profit taking. All right, guys, so um, anything I'm missing, I did not call out. You got one, two, three, four, five, six stocks already in pre-market. For everyone else, um, I know we have some new members. Just keep in mind, guys, um, there's always new ones that open up when the market opens up. There's what we've been basically been trading since eight o'clock this morning. Some of you guys basically trend, but remember, it is Monday. Monday's not the greatest days, especially coming back from a very extremely hot weekend, and especially a Father's Day. By the way, I know I didn't have a chance to tell everyone but for all those dads out there, happy Father's Day too. Um, hope I'm not, not a little late to kind of tell everybody. But um, but with having a big weekend like that, you're probably you're gonna get these kind of slow weeks coming into it. You're more than welcome, Grant. Happy Father's Day to you. The uh, the VKTX, it's nice. It has a push. I'll throw it on there. You know, let's see how she opens up. But as of right now, she's not really going anywhere. All right, all right, guys. So. Um, Let's get moving on and get ready for the open. And uh, by the way, guys, thanks for everybody's comments regarding my mom. And, uh, you know, remember, remember, always families first. All right, guys? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading today. I'll see you back at 2.30.